I'm Rue Freeman and I'm the author of A Disobedient Girl, my debut novel which just came out from Adria Books, San Manchester in July 2009 in the United States and Canada. Hmm. And tell me a little about the book. Uh, the book um, follows the stories of, it has two stories that blend together. One is of a little girl who is five years old and goes into work as a servant girl to a girl her own age um, in a wealthy family in Colombo, Sri Lanka. And the other is a story of an older woman who is leaving her abusive husband and traveling to um, the hills looking for sanctuary in the hill country. Mm. The older woman's story is told in first person and it takes place over the course of just uh, two days or so, or uh, 72 hours. Um, the younger girl's story takes place over about three decades of her life. And um, covers a wider canvas, obviously. Um, I grew up in a family where everybody was, they were writers and activists, that's what they did. My father worked for the government, my brothers um, participated in political work. Um, I mean, most South Asian cultures are very um, politically conscious, I think, mm -hmm. but um, Sri Lanka is particularly, um, it's a highly literate country, People are very civic minded, they are very involved in the political um, world. So, most people are, you know, they all, there's a high degree of voting and participation, but there's also a lot of activism in terms of just different issues and mm. parties. There are multiple parties. Um, and my father was very involved, and so, was my, so were my brothers, and, and therefore so was I. Mm. And uh, do you have a favorite author or a book, and why? Toni Morrison um, and my favorite book of hers, there's two, both Sula and Tar Baby. Uh, the thing I like about Tar Baby is that she, you know, as you know, the story has, there's many different characters, but every time you read uh, the, a chapter belonging to one character, you completely believe that person's perspective and then you read the next chapter and you turn around and you believe that next character's perspective and you go back and forth like this throughout the entire book and I think that's such an incredible skill to be able to create a world and create people um, who resonate with the reader that way and, um, and Sula I like because she uh, handles one of the topics that I'm very concerned about and interested in uh, and that is the relationship between women and uh, heterosexual female friendships and how deep those bonds are and what the things that might come between women um, and how those friendships evolve and sometimes disintegrate. And what is the next book that you're working on? I'm working on another book that's also set in Sri Lanka, but it is um, set during, uh, around the time of the ethnic riots in Sri Lanka in 1983, and that um, provides some of the context for the things that happen down a very small, in a very small part of Sri Lanka. And uh, that's kind of the vague idea I have for a book. I never really know what's going to happen with it until I write it. So. And do you have any advice, like one or two things you'd give as advice for anybody who's also aspiring to be a writer? Um, the only advice I have for anybody who wants to, um, who sees themselves as writing, uh, long term is to write and just write um, constantly and write with some delight and love for words read lots of books and go to readings and listen to other authors and support um, your fellow writers find a community of writers that will support you